fourth industrial revolution and its impact on the job sector is still a bit of a clouded mystery. We're not quite sure yet because we do know that obviously if you are doing a job that can now be done by a computer, you're going to lose your job. That's quite obvious because computers are cheaper to maintain, they're easier. And you don't, of course, don't have to pay medical aid for a computer. So there's that. But then we also see that with specialized skills or specialized fields such as software engineering, for example, or big data, we have experts on big data, you see that these fields are complementary with fields within the fourth industrial revolution. So for these fields, specialized niche fields like software engineering, programming, mechanical engineering, you'll see more jobs being created and the market for these jobs is going to increase. Uh, but then I also feel that obviously you're going to have people losing jobs, but it's for the better. We just need to understand what skills are important for the future, what skills will be required. And slowly but surely we're going to see a phasing out of skills, but it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to be an abrupt change. And there's also the thing that if people can start learning how to use technology in their own specific fields and specific markets, then you don't need to lose your job in the first place because then you'll always need somebody to handle or maintain or take care of that machinery. So for the job sector, it's quite twofold. It could go both ways, but I hope for the best. I hope that nobody has to lose their job, but even if people do lose their jobs, I hope that it's for them to then learn new skills that will be applicable in the 21st century. If we really want to start taking advantage of this opportunity to join the fourth industrial revolution and the opportunities that could be presented by this, we need to start at an elementary stage. We need to start teaching kids at school level already how to use Arduinos, how to code, how to build computers with Raspberry Pis. We need to go into government schools and give children tablets, smart boards, and enhance their teaching. It's only with a paradigm shift that we're going to achieve the success that we've envisioned. Because at the rate that we're going, it's going to become very difficult for us to catch on. So public policymakers need to really shape the narrative. They need to create incentive for students to start thinking of science, start dreaming of becoming astronauts and mechanical design engineers. We need to create fields and create markets.